Okay, hopefully this is actually recording this time. I really, really hope so. Uh, so yeah, funny story. I uh, did a whole uh, playthrough of this game a little over an hour long just a while ago, and... Well, Audacity crashed about 49 minutes in! <laughs> so here we go again. And this time I'll actually know what I'm doing, so maybe I won't play terribly. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bleed 2, and... You probably heard me talk about this game on the main channel already. So, uh... Yeah, I'm not a fan of the original Bleed, because I don't care for all the level traversal stuff. But I am a big fan of this game. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into it, and I'll explain everything. And yes, I will be playing on normal. Starting up. Alright, let's finish this game fast enough so Audacity doesn't crash. Oh god! Okay, so, for those new here, uh, the last bleed was about this character, Rin, uh, managing to become the greatest hero in the world by killing all the other heroes because video game. And it had problems, but this game really streams lying in a lot. Let me show you what the first major thing it does. That. That was called Reflection. Uh, uh, counter move, uh, swords, where... Uh, her now, instead of just having the default pistol at start, uh, at start, she has the pistol and the katana, and the katana swings when you press the fire button, along with firing the gun. So if you hold the gun, you continue firing, but if you just uh, do a press, that results in uh, the katana going out and countering uh, pink bullets. And that's where a lot of the fun in this game comes from. Of course, you can move around a lot, you have slow down just like in the last game. Really, your movement options are ridiculous. Okay, here we go. And because of all of them, because of this one little weapon change they did, the entire game flows way better now. These guys are just kind of fodder enemies, don't worry much about them. And here comes our first taste of a boss. Alright, he's pretty easy. Just uh, counter and pelt him down when you can. Unlike a lot of the other bosses, slow mode is really useful on him because he has some big gaps and you can get a lot of fire on him taking advantage of that. This does not last, of course. And now here's our first true real boss. And it is much trickier. Damn. Okay. Yeah, I'm still gonna play bad, apparently. Ah, I forgot I'm out of the of the slow-mo. I used it all, because I'm an idiot. Okay, now I got it back. So, I'll do this. Got a big hit, and I'll take it. Come on, give me something I can counter that isn't just a small bullets. There it is. Dead. And now we run. And this segment is significantly more difficult. Because <laughs> you only have. S oh, there's so many of them. Okay, is that it? Y'all done? Can we continue on to the next level? Oh no! Gotta fight big guy here. Okay, come on. Okay, there can't be much left. Dodge the missiles, blah blah blah. Okay, 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 come on, come on, come on. Ah, got it. Still got it though. 
I'll take it. I did not do great again, but okay. Can we make it before Audacity crashes? We're gonna fucking find out. I got a higher score than last time. I'll take it. The enemy arrived without warning, carving a trail of darkness and despair across the globe. I, I think that was more fire than darkness. For days, we called our hero for help. Some even began to lose hope. She was playing video games, jerk. But Rin, the greatest hero of all time, has finally risen to defend us. At last, our enemy is forced to flee. At last, they hold fear in their hearts. But fear is not enough, and Rin is in pursuit. We'll keep you updated through every moment of the action. There's gonna be a lot of it. Stay tuned. I love those little uh, new segments cute way to break up the levels and now instead of isolated uh levels that are bad fight me uh you just go straight into the next one and it feels natural because everything flows into each other for the most part it's one action lead it's one area leading to another area you got the transition which is with the truck from the rival it transitions to the new area of a ship later on in the game so on and so forth it all just makes sense and flows. Come on, die, die, die. Okay. Bring it on, helicopter. I mean, kitty copter. That's actually what you're called, and that's amazing. It makes me so happy. Ah, oh, missed it. Okay. Okay, I think I got it that counter off right. Let's keep firing. Ah, big hit. Bring it, kitty. Dead. Oh no, I've killed many kitties. I don't feel good about that. Then again, they were trying to murder me, so. Time to kill many more kitties. Just gotta keep moving here. Because they keep coming. Die, 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 die. Oh yeah, I should mention that you do have a taunt button like in Double May Cry and that actually does help improve your score if you use it right after a big hit. Which is cool. The style meter also works differently than it did in DMC. It does not instantly, uh, it does not constantly go down over time and you have to keep it going. And it doesn't, uh, base itself around variety of hits, just basic performance okay come on ah damn it get up there kill the missiles Not sure how I'm supposed to counter that. Ah, damn it. That was stupid of me. And I'm definitely gonna die now. Okay, let's keep going. Oh no, the next boss coming up is pretty easy. I might get lucky, like I did last time. Let's see. Okay, get through these jobbers. They're no big deal, whatever. Oh, you gotta be careful with how I jump. Get on this one. There she is, the big bad, Valentine. And she's trying to kill us to become a hero. I'd, uh, chastise her, but, like, I'm not exactly the one to talk after the first game. 
And as you can see, I cannot damage her because that shield, thankfully, our rival friend is here to help because he hates her more than me. And that's good. That's how friendships are formed. Oh, shit. Okay. Here we go again. <laughs> okay. It didn't hit him, so he gets to uh, take down her shield. As long as you parry your attacks or dodge them in a way that doesn't uh, hurt our friend here, we're in the gold. And then we can do an attack. And this is actually a really cool sequence because it gives you a hint of how to beat her later when he's not around. And finish her. And that's round one with Valentine done. And she ain't happy. Yeah! I didn't do great on that one though. But let's keep going. Oof. Driven to desperation, the enemy leader Valentine emerged to battle our hero. She sure did. Something she may have eventually prevailed, but not for that blonde guy's assistance. <laughs> Why is he helping Grin? Is it a desperate bid for redemption? He was the bad guy in the last game. Well, nothing can ever uh, do... Nothing you can ever do will make the world forgive him. Nothing. Regardless, they seem to have joined forces and are pursuing the enemy into the sky. Don't touch that dial. I won't. The chase. Oh! The guy got distracted. <laughs> Get rid of those penguins, because they become a problem very fast. I, no, 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 no. I was doing better last time on this segment. Ugh. Me and my worries over Audacity's bullshit. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, this lady is kind of a remix of a fight with a boss named Rabbit in the first game. Who would charge at you a lot and teleport around, but her gimmick here is just focusing on gunning from a distance and moving around the stage in the air. So it's different enough that it's not a complete repeat. The complete repeat comes later. But it's well earned because it's part of a boss rush. And it's tough. Okay. Die already! Nah! Finally. I'm kind of curious if I do get play the game on harder difficulties if that adds more bosses to the boss rush. Because not every boss from the last game is in it. But most are. The major ones. Doing good here. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Is it almost time for, the, for that guy? Yeah, it's time. Bring him on. One of my favorite bosses in the whole game. This ninja dude. Ah, he's here to teach you that countering is important. By making it the main way you can actually damage him. It also forces you to plan out how you use your... Uh, slowdown. Uh... I'm not an expert. Got him. Got him. That. Ah, he jumped a little. I love where he's placed in this game. He's like the first uh, moment when the game's like, no, it's going to get harder. And it's going to change a lot. Don't get complacent. Okay, got him. And now, round two. As you can see, he does DMC3 Virgil shit. So you gotta fight him uh, more, uh, 
more better than that. There are going to be openings where I can get him with the bullets, but there's not going to be many of them. So I gotta make do with what I- Ah! Damn it! I gotta make do with what I can. Like that. Okay, come on. Give me something I can counter. Finally. And that gives me a big chance to do big damage with gun. Ah, damn it. Come on. There we go. Got him. Okay. Now it's time for the missile segment. Which is a really cool breakup from what we've been through so far. The game is about to test us on how we uh, traverse our own territory. Just give it a sec. Ah! Gotta kill these things faster. Oh boy. If I end up, if I have to stop talking for a bit, it's because I need to concentrate. I am so sorry. This game can be a lot. Okay, here we go with the with the fun segment. We're about to fight one of the most interesting bosses in the game. Because you have to fight him while jumping around from missile to missile. Which is not easy. There you are, buddy. He uh, shoots out more missiles for you to jump on, which is nice. But he also attacks you with the small missiles, which you cannot and hurt a lot. Okay. Come on, give me a big counter. Ah, I missed it. Oh boy. I'm doing better against him this time, I think. Come on, let's keep going. Yeah, this game is nuts with all this stuff it throws at you, and it's always very, very different from the last thing it threw at you. And that is such a good thing for an action. That's a good quality for an action game to have. Keep things interesting. Find new ways to challenge the player. Don't let them get complacent. But also, don't be completely bullshit either, which this game manages to avoid. I don't know if any of those bullets hit him. Alright, I got the big finish on him. I'll take it. Oh, I just killed the man. Whoopsie poopsie. Let's keep this going. It seems the enemy warship is overflowing with the great villains of all time. The greatest villains. Yeah. All who drop like f uh, evil flies in the face of our mighty hero. Even that blonde guy proved his worth. Paying the ultimate price to assist our champion. They just keep calling him the blonde guy, huh? Perhaps he was misjudged. History will never forget the brave sacrifice of whatever his name was. <laughs> now our hero must board uh, the warship and take it down alone. I think those images shown in the newscast are from our own play. I don't think they're stock. Which might explain why one of them was in such poor quality. But I guess I'll never know for sure. Alright, let's get rid of these jobbers and continue on to the fun part. Now we're invading the enemy ship. No, you don't, buddy. Go up, we go. Dead. 
And now another boss. This one's tricky because, see those little things you're shooting out? You gotta kill those fast or else he will use them against you. Because he will eventually start cycling them around the uh, stage. And you gotta, and they will hurt. They will hurt very bad and you don't want that, obviously. Because hurt is bad. That's your body's way of telling you that bad is happening. And you don't want it to happen. See, he does that cycle bullshit. And it will get faster as the more damage we do to him. It's a weird fight where you can't focus on doing damage as much as just making sure you have some control over the field and it's not littered in bullshit. Oh, no you don't. I'm on to you, buddy. Yeah, destroy all that shit. And now uh, there's much less I have to worry about when he does the spin shit. I will do damage to him over time while focusing on him. Ah, counter! Got it. Get rid of more of that bullshit. Go away. I don't want you in my life. Poison. Toxic. There we go. Oh, he's almost dead. Got him. Did very good that time. Let's not waste any more time so Audacity does not crash. So I don't want Audacity to crash again. I'm so scared of everyone. It's never happened before. Dead. Dead. Oh yeah, this is an auto scroll segment, so I gotta keep moving, moving. Oh, that's gonna hurt my score. Dead. 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 Okay, let's let's keep this going. Let's keep moving, moving. There we go. Yeah, there's always something new in every stage. That's just so good to have in an action game. I am repeating myself. I am so... Ah. Oh god, meteors. I forgot about this. I just did this. Don't... Ah. 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 Okay. Uh, rest spot and we are about to face a boss rush. It's time to fight three of the ma major bosses from the last... No, wait, is it four major bosses from the last game or three? Oh, we'll find out. I think this is the goo guy from the first level of the game. Of the first game. Alright. It can only counter when it's pink. That's right. I should have slowed down to dodge that. Dead. Bring on the next... Bring on the two idiots. Oh, I hate these two. I hate these two so much. The worms are the worst. They're bad and I don't like them. Just do as much damage as possible. As much as possible so this will be over faster. I don't like these two. One neat thing about the counter uh, system here is that now there's a kind of a gimmick to them where they each have a different color bullet to focus on. One you can counter and one you cannot, so you just gotta deal with. Die, 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 die. Oh, it's not dead yet. Damn it. It's close though. Come on, hurry up before my itchy nose gets to me. Up. Oh. Oh, thank god they're dead, and I had a chance to scratch my nose. Next is White, the guy with the shield. You have to really punish him a lot with uh, slowdown the moment you get him, when you get a moment like this. Yeah, there we go. Do as much to him as you can in that short amount of... 
There we go. Counter. Got the counter. Get rid of those missiles. They're bad. They're very bad. I don't like them. They're terrible missiles, sir. You have terrible missiles, and I do not like them. Oh, thank God. I dodged them. Got it. The big damage. Yes. Let's do this. Can I actually finish all four without dying? Probably not. But maybe. If I'm lucky. Die, 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 Oh, now here comes the bullshit. It's time for Rabbit. Oh, thank god, I think she dies fast. Or maybe I just got lucky last time and something fell on her that wasn't supposed to fall on her. Uh, oh well. I did much better than last time, I'll take it. Keep hitting her, 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 just hit her, hit, 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 hit. Big damage, yes! Die! Okay, she's dead. Finally! And that level's clear. We're almost done. And this has gone much faster than last time. Maybe Audacity won't crash now. This might actually end up being a one-off. Our hero endured a meager Oshkin and fiery calamity aboard the enemy warship. By all scientific accounts, she should be dead. Her will to survive must be too strong to fall against these odds. Video games! And that's why we just sent in the statues of old heroes in space. We need some now that we have Rin. And that's where the bosses come from. They were the robot versions of the bosses from the first game, who were also from the first game during an endgame boss rush. And then they sent him out in the space, and they attacked me, and that, that did not help at all, sir. Why did you do that? Anyways, let's wrap this up.